Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm glad you're here because there's a lot more galaxy to roll for. Let's get going. So we're starting the second round. And so once again, everybody rolls in secret, and puts their shields back up. Shields up, Captain, as I like to say. And so we both rolled. And now let's go on ahead and figure out what we're going to do in secret again. Wow! Oh, come on! <laughs> I chose these because they were going to up my chance of exploring and neither of them were very accommodating. I got a settlement and I got a produce. Oh, that is a bummer. All right, well, so I've assigned these. Now remember, one of them I can pick up, I can choose either of these, and then it becomes a wild card. So I can say to heck with it. You know what? I, neither of you guys are very accommodating, to heck with it. You are not a settlement die, you are an explorer die, whether you like it or not. But I would have rather this had been an explore die too, so I'd get to do two explore actions instead of one. But instead I've got produce. So I've got a choice. Um, obviously, I'm going to turn one of these into explore so I can get some more tiles. And then that means I'm going to leave I behind either a produce or a settle. Hmm. Now I can produce goods on this meteorite planet. So I think I will. I'll do that. So that means this round, well, I know I'm going to explore because I'm going to activate that phase. And if either Jen or the dummy player activates produce, I'll get to produce as well. So we'll see if that happens. Fingers crossed. Who knows what's going to go? All right. So that's my choice. I, I only had two dice. If you don't have a lot of dice, you don't have a lot of choices. Um, that's why you want to have a lot of money so you can recruit more dice. But that means you got to make money. All right. All right. So let's see what Jen got. All right. So Jen got an explore and she got two settles. And that's a bummer for her because here's her problem. She has nothing to settle. She has no, um, that's why she needs, if she explores, she can go digging through the um, bag, find another tile, and then she could settle it. Let's see. Well, now what is she going to want to do? So here's the interesting thing. She could, now once again, Nothing's happening until she picks up a die and chooses a space. And so if Jen says just wants to do this, now she gets to do two explore actions. But if she wants, she could do an explore action and then she could hope that somebody else is going to settle because then she gets to do two settle actions. Um, and now Jen looks over at me and she sees, hey, I've got a planet to settle. Maybe I want to settle it. But you know, if she's smart, she knows I'm not going to do that because, well, Five dice. That means I have, to, I have to spend a lot of time. This is a hard plan to settle. It's way too hard to do that early in the game. So Jen can assume I'm not going to settle. So I think she doesn't care so much about settling either. Which means she'll probably take this. So she's repurposing this into the explore action she wants. And now she has two explore actions she can do. And now she's still got this die that's not doing her any good. If she wants, she could turn it into a dictator. Which means she could then turn this die into something else. But then Jen's got to ask herself, what else does she want to do? Well, I'll tell you one thing she wants to do. She wants to ship this, um, what do you call it? Ship this, uh, I can't think of the word, Th this good. Yeah, so I think that's what she's going to do. She could get to do two explore actions, but instead she is going to turn this die into a dictator to turn this explore into a shipping die. And that is her final choice. And now here's the reason for it. Jen knows. Now, see, she's not choosing the shipping action. And, you know, if she looks over, she, she's on, she knows I'm not going to do it either because I don't have anything to ship. But she can hope, she can hope and pray that maybe the shipping action will be chosen by the dummy player again. Because if it does, that means this red die, she'll use it to explore. It will come back over here. And then when we get to the shipping phase, not only will Jen get to ship and make some points or money off of this, but she will also get to engage in piracy. So that's kind of... Like, a, if she gets lucky, and there's only a 1 in 6 chance of this, but, you know, um, it, you, you roll for the galaxy. That's what you do. So, she's giving up a guaranteed double explore to, for a hail... Well, that is a bit of a Hail Mary. Nah, she's not going to do that. All right. But then that means this settlement... Well, still, when, if she has two explorers, chances are she's going to find a planet she would like to settle. And so if she gets lucky and this thing comes up and there's only a one in six chance, if it comes up for settlement, she would actually get a chance to settle. Hmm. But it only... No, no, no. What the heck? She's got, it, there's a one in six chance for the free settlement off the dummy because she knows I'm not going to settle. There's a one in six chance for the shipping. She's going to be a pirate. Arr! She's going to go for the long shot. All right, so she's chosen. Now, everybody... Reveals their shield, and we see what's happening. Uh, and, um, and now Jen is bummed because both of us did the explore. And that means one of us effectively wasted our free time. Because, 
know, if Jen had known I was going to explore, because let's see, let's, it, this is what Jen rolled immediately, originally. If Jen had known I was going to explore, she could have left this here, and um, then she has two dice to do whatever she wants with, um, which I guess really, uh, you know, so she could have made one the dictator, and then she could have done something else. And she would still be, well, I guess in the end of the day, it's really not that much of a difference. Let's see, what did she do? She put this over here, and she used this as a dictator to get the ship. So really, it's kind of the end. So anyway, so both of us have chosen Explore. Oh, no, that's what Jen could have done. If Jen was confident that I was going to pick Explore, then what Jen could have done is she could have left this here, so she would have gotten to Explore as well. She would have turned this into a dictator to turn this into a shipping action. And so, during the shipping action, this guy would have come home, and she would have gotten to guarantee do her pirate. Or, no, no, I'm sorry, no, no, I'm doing this wrong. Ah, this game is so... If Jen had known I was going to explore, Jen could have left this, she would have followed me on exploration, she wouldn't have had to waste this, she could have turned this... Um, wild card into a ship. Right. And so that means she would have guaranteed done a shipping action with this pirate, which means she would have guaranteed sold this and done some piracy. Because she would have activated Explore and she wouldn't have to rely on the dummy doing it. But she did not anticipate that I was going to do, and so that's why she also chose to explore, did the Dictator, and now she has a long shot of being able to ship, whereas before, if she could have anticipated me, she would have had a guaranteed shipping action. But, alright, so anyway, we've all revealed, we are both exploring, and now let's see what the dummy player does. And the dummy player says, hey, we're also going to develop. And Jen says, ah, no! If at least, or, or settle. If she, at least she had left this here, she would have gotten that, but the dice were against her. All right. So, everybody's done. Now we start going. And both Jen and I are only getting to do one explore action because we've assigned one die to it. All right, so let's have me go first. Now, this guy is going to explore, so he goes and retires. And um, since, now, when you explore, you have a choice. You can either... Um, make two bucks. Exploring is just a way to make money. And um, you know, so if I wanted, I could get two more bucks. So that means I'd be able to hire three um, dice next turn. Because currently I have no dice, which is kind of scary. And I only have one buck, so I'm only going to get to hire one. Or I can explore. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah. Which means I draw potentially one or more tiles. I am going to explore, though. Which is kind of, oh, it's kind of a bummer. I'd like to get the two bucks because then I could hire three dice, which would be great. As it is, I'm only going to get to hire one die, but I'm going to explore. Now, I've chosen to explore. This guy, I said, you're going to explore, buddy. You're not going to make money. And so now I have another choice. Any tiles I currently have, either development or um, colony ones, if I don't like these, I can jettison them. I can discard them. And for every one I discard, that will increase the number of explorer actions I get to do by one. Now, all of this is written on your little player aid, so you have it. Right there is a handy dandy reminder. If you're going to, let's see, I've chosen explore. Instead of stocking up, making money, I am scouting. That means I can abandon X tiles and from anywhere, and then that means I get to draw X plus one. If I don't abandon anything, one guy lets me draw one tile. But since I'm dumping this, I'm saying to heck with you, lost species of Ark World, I don't want it. And when you abandon something, you put it under here because you're supposed to hide it. Nobody is supposed to know what you've abandoned. Um, although, you know, Jen could have seen it, but if I had multiple things in a stack, I might have removed one from lower in my stack, and I wouldn't want Jen to know what I'm giving up on because that could give her a clue about my plans. So anyway, I've abandoned that. So you always, for every die you explore with, you get to draw one, but since I abandoned a tile, I get to draw two. Let's see what I get. Bop. And, and I'm hoping for um, you know, more brown worlds, because that really suits my um, style. Let's see. And I did. I got a brown world, although it's very expensive. Four bucks, four dice it'll take to settle this brown silicon world. Alternatively, this could be a, uh, the export duties. Ship. Plus one for every good you ship, um, you trade. Wow. Oh no, this, this is the opposite. Right now, when I'm, using, when I'm doing the shipping action, if I consume, I get extra bucks. This is if I trade, I get extra um, bucks. Let's see. So I think this will be my brown world. And that means this one could be a technology or it could be... Oh, it's another brown world. Wow, I drew two brown worlds. Okay. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to put both of them as brown worlds. It's going to take me a long time to settle both of these. And that's kind of scary because it'd be quick to get... What are these technologies? What's this other technology? Space docks. Shipping. Act as if you have 
Um, one more home shipper. <gasps> wow, this means when I ship, I get to do a bonus shipping action for free. That's pretty cool with space docks. That's like having a free die. And it's, see, here's the thing. If I put both of these, I've got two very expensive plants. It'll take me a long time to build. And I don't have a lot of dice to build with, particularly since I have no money. Let's see. Now, um... <laughs> and actually, both of these things, the Arminate world and the Silicon world, they have the... If I... Both of them give me one brown die and one dollar. So they're both practically the exact same thing. So really, do I just want to build th this twice or do I... I think I want to get that space dock. It gives me more flexibility. So there we go. I've, I, did, um, I did a single explore action, but since I discarded one card, I got to draw two, and here's what I did with them. They could have both been brown worlds, but I, or they could have both been technologies, but that's it. Now, Jen, she is also exploring. This guy's coming home, and so Jen has a choice. Draw tiles, either one or two, if she jettisons her space tourism, or get two bucks. And um, let's see. And Jen, unfortunately, is... And nobody's going to settle because... Right, so does Jen want money or does she want to draw a tile? This space room, how much does she want that? If you have the highest cost world across all tableaus, get an extra buck, although you always get one extra buck when you're shipping. Let's see, Jen can see I just made a very, very expensive planet. So Jen's thinking, you know what, this space tourism, she probably might not be able to use it at peak efficiency if I actually build this crazy expensive planet. So, but you know what, I think Jen, it's more important, Jen wants to have more dice. So instead of exploring it all, she is going to do the other thing. She is going to get two bucks. Right, okay. So that was it. We're done with the explore. And um, now that it's all done, this thing goes back in the bag. Um, so it'll be drawn later. Let's see. Nobody developed. Um, there's a settling action, but neither of us settled. So we skipped that, and then nobody did the other two. So that's it. The round is over. So the dice that didn't get used go, uh, let's see. Now, this dictator did get used, so he's done, and the shipping didn't get used. My produce didn't get used, and now I'm going to spend one buck, and what am I, who am I going to hire? I'm going to hire this brown now, because I would like to start producing some stuff on the meteorite planet and making some money so I can hire some more dice. So I paid one, and then remember, when you're out of money, you always get one back. And Jen, she has one, two, three. She can hire three dice now. Um, I think she will leave these pirates here so that they are in position to be able to do space piracy. And so she will hire three more. And so that means Jen is rolling four dice this round. Okay. So, and we're ready to go on. So these tiles reset. And let's see what we get. Boop. And. Alrighty. Boom. And. Oh, come on. See, now. All right, develop and explore. Now I get the explore after I'm done exploring. Now I could explore more. I could get more tiles. If I were to explore and draw another tile that I liked, say I got this, um, this conscription and I really wanted this technology, what I would do is I would take it and I would put it at the bottom of my technologies. I have to finish this one, and when this one's finished, this one becomes revealed. Or alternatively, I could explore and just make some money. All right, now I didn't actually draw that. And then develop. So I could, um, you know, I, I, I could leave this. I could say, hey, develop. And then these two things combined, that means development will happen. And since they're both done, I will finish the space docks, which um, acts whenever, um, whenever you're doing shipping, as it says, during the shipping phase, pretend you have one extra shipping die, just like that. So it makes me a more efficient shipper. Although, interestingly, I only have one planet where I can generate goods. Now, what I really wanted to do is... And I think I'm going to do it anyway. I am. I want to start producing goods. So I'm going to take this, develop, and I'm going to turn it into a wild card. I'm going to turn it into production. All right. And I've only got one other die. So hopefully exp exploration happens. So at least I can make some money or draw another tile. So that's my choice. Let's see what Jen's got. All righty. So she can settle. She's got two production and an explore. Now, Jen, production would actually be kind of nice for her. Because she's got a planet here where she could produce goods. And then if she has multiple planets, when she ships, she could ship multiple things. So that's actually quite nice. Unfortunately, this settle die, she has nothing to settle. So I think she's going to take this. And this is going to be what she converts into other things. So if she puts this over here, well, this is actually kind of wasteful. Because um, you can't produce anything on a gray planet. 
This planet is already produced. You can, a planet can only produce one thing, so she can't produce here again. So this is actually kind of wasteful to um, put this here because these two got this one will actually do the only production you can do and these ones well they'll go back in the cup so she'll be able to keep them for later let's see and you know and she can put, leave this settle here and hope that either me or i'm not settle explore either me or the dummy and again the dummy has a 33 percent chance of choosing explore so i think she'll leave that there and hopefully she'll get to do some exploration so what is she going to do with this stuff hmm. hmm production would be nice and then what she could do is, she could turn this one into a dictator, and then this, because remember, she only wants to produce once. This guy can become a dictator and order this guy to do a shipping action. So again, if the shipping happens, oh, no, this is interesting. Hold on, let's, let's go a different way. Okay, Jen's definitely going to explore, and she's going to hope she gets to follow on somebody with that. If she says, you know what, I want to guarantee shipping this turn because she wants to guarantee that she'll ship this thing. And she also, since the pirates are sitting around, she'll get to do her space piracy. So she wants to make shipping happen. Now, um, before she's... Right, and so if she leaves these here, she has a chance to produce. Now, only one of them will because she only has one chance to produce on. She could, you know, turn this into a dictator and then she could do something else. But I think she's happy with that. Yeah. Although, interestingly, if she did this and turned this guy into a develop, that means, see, because Jen can see, I've got a very quick thing to develop. Jen could maybe be hoping that I am going to develop, because then if she follows, she'll get to start working on her space tourism. Um, but she's got to figure, what's her better chance? Is she going to have a better chance exploring or developing, or by following? Because shipping is what she's actually going to do this turn. She's going to ship this thing, and she's going to do some bonus piracy. I think she'll stick with the Explorer because there's a greater likelihood that that's what the dummy player is going to do. So she won't do that. So she's going to ship. Shipping is definitely happening this turn. And if she's lucky, if somebody else chooses it, maybe she'll get to do some production as well. Okay, so we've all made our choices. Everybody reveals. And ta-da! Jen is so happy I chose Produce. So now that means Jen gets, she didn't have to waste a die coming up here, which means, and Jen is shipping. And I don't get to take advantage of that because I did not assign any of my dice to the shipping action. And it looks like neither of us are doing exploration unless the dummy player comes through. And we're both eyeballing him. Come on, give us that eyeball. Eyeball! All right, that, that, that got interrupted. Let's, let's try and do this again. All right, eyeball with no interruptions. Eyeball! Hooray! Okay, thanks, dummy player. So, everybody, you know, so I get, so we both get to explore thanks to the dummy player. No one is developing, no one is settling, we're both producing, and then Jen will take advantage of this shipping. Unfortunately, I will not because I didn't do that. All right, so let's start exploring. So, now I'm happy with my tiles. I'm just going to use this explore to get two bucks because I need more money. And after a hard day of making money, um, exploring to find money, that guy retires. But now I can hire three dice this turn, because, which is good because I'm out of dice. All right, and so Jen, what is she going to do? She is actually going to explore. She's going to do a proper exploration because she's already planning on making money off of her shipping operations. Oh, by the way, oops, I forgot. Um, Jen, remember at the end of your turn, after if you're broke, you always get one buck for free. So Jen had that one buck for free. So anyway, so Jen's going to do an explore. She could jettison this space tourism so she could draw two tiles. Alternatively, she'll only draw one. Yeah, and you know what, this space tourism, I don't think she's loving it because she can see what a big planet I'm going for. So she's going to jettison that, and that means she's now drawing two tiles. And she's hoping to find something a little bit more conducive to space piracy. Oh, a rebel hideout, you better believe. Rebels can moonlight as pirates. And, alrighty, so, Jen gets both of these tiles, and there's no doubt about it. Jen is definitely, because here's the deal, when Jen um, colonizes his rebel hideout, she gets two more red dice. And remember, she, as, as many, for every two red dice she has in the citizenry, that's another buck she can make during shipping actions for free. Nice. Okay. Which means then, now this could be another planet, the Lost Alien Battle Fleet, which will get her a yellow die, and six points. Or Space Mercenaries. You may reassign one military red die or a brown die. Wow, so she can reassign red dice for free. That is perfect for her because she's trying to get more red dice because of her piracy. And Space Mercenaries means her, um, her basically her red dice can become wild cards during the assignment phase. That is perfect for her. Okay, so Jen is very pleased with her. Um, so we're done with the 
with the exploration, the tile she gave up goes away. No development, no settling, duh, production. Okay, so now I'm going to produce. And I only have one planet that can produce. It's coming over here. So I have now produced one rare element. All right, and that's it. Now, in a future turn, um, if, I, if I ship it, I can either make money or victory points off of that rare element. So there we go. Now it's Jen's turn, and she is going to produce. She'll take the first one, she'll take. And now there's no more production you do because she, she has another production, but she cannot put it. This guy, gray plants don't produce, technologies don't produce, and these ones are both full. So this guy is not going to do anything. He's going to go back in the cup. All right, and so that's it for production. And now finally shipping. I can't ship. Jen is shipping. This guy is going to retire because he triggered a shipping action. So with, now if Jen had multiple dice here, she could ship both of these things. But as it is, she has to pick one. She can either ship, and that means she will ship this die, this die or this die, and it'll come back here into the pool so it can be recruited again. But when you're shipping, you have some interesting choices. You can, uh, when you choose the ship action, for every die you use, you can either trade or consume. Trading means you um, give up the die to make money. Three, four, five, or six bucks. Consuming means you give up the die to get victory points. And, let's see. Now, so Jen's got to ask her. Now, Jen's got one die. She's going to be able to buy one more die. Also, she's about to get another buck for space piracy. So she can buy two more dice right now. So I don't think, I don't think right now she is going to... Um, well, the interesting thing is, blue... Um, some, if, if you want to trade to make money, if it comes from a blue planet, it's only three bucks. If it comes from a brown planet, it's four bucks. So Jen can make three or four bucks right now. Three or four bucks. But instead, Jen is going to consume and make some points. Let's see. So that this guy is going to um, come over here and he's going to cho choose this blue and he's going to consume it. Now that means you can get, when you consume goods, you can get one, two, or three victory points depending on how well you match colors. If Jen wanted to consume this die, she, you always get at least one point. You get one point guaranteed for consuming. You get one additional point if the die matches the home planet. So that's why if Jen consumes over here, she'll get one plus one because of the matching color. Now the really interesting thing is, if Jen had used a, um, a blue die to trigger it, she would get one plus one for matching plus another one for matching. So with a perfect storm of all matching colors, you can get three victory points. But as it is, Jen is going to use an unmatching color. So she gets one guaranteed, another point for matching color, but then no more points because this one didn't match color. And so these come home, and Jen just scored two victory points. All right. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Which puts Jen at eight points, I think, total, versus my one, two, three, four, five, six. So Jen is two points in the lead. All right. So that was Jen's one shipping. She still got this rare good on this planet that she could ship or consume in a future turn. All right. So we're done with the shipping action. So everybody's done. I've got three bucks. You better believe I'm going to spend all three of it to get me a, um, a three dice. Now, what do I want to do? I want to get b building this brown world as fast as I can. But you know what? I also, I really want to ship. I want to ship this good so, uh, um, so that I can make some money, I think. So, am I going to do that? Well, let's see. The dice that are most likely to roll shipping are green and yellow dice. I have no green or yellow dice. But interestingly, a, a white die... Oh, wait, I'm sorry. No, that's wild. Um, purple dice, blue dice. Okay, yeah. Blue dice are more likely to come up with shipping. So, I'm buying three dice. I'm going to buy a blue. And I'll buy a red because they're most likely to help me build these things. And then I'll buy a green, uh, white. So I bought three dice, and then I, since I'm broke, I get one. Oh, I forgot. By the way, during the shipping action, remember Jen's special power, um, whenever you ship, plus one dollar for every two military dice. So Jen got an, a bonus dollar because of her space piracy. Okay, so now um, Jen, at the end of the turn, she's got two bucks to spend. So she's going to hire two dice plus the one she's got in there. What is she going to hire? I think she'll hire this blue because then maybe she could get it back over here so she can make another good. One, and she'll get a white. Once again, she'll leave these reds here so that they can poten potentially engage in piracy. Okay. So there we go. Everything's reset. And, oh, and Jen gets one free dollar as well. And now we're moving on. I think this is the third round now? Maybe the fourth? So let's see what happens. Okie doke. 
There's the shipping I was hoping for, and develop and eyeball. Okay, now then. So how do I want to do this? Uh, <laughs> actually, this is, I mean, it wouldn't be too bad just to go like this. Because here's the thing, um, you know, doing something like this, there's no reason because then I'm kind of being wasteful on the, on the shipping action. Although what I got to ask myself is, is Jen going to ship? Jen has another thing she can ship. Jen wants to ship. She wants to have shipping happen so she can make extra money and she has something to ship. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to cross my fingers and hope and pray that Jen is going to try and trigger the shipping action so she can make some more off of this and make some more off of that. So that means I've got this here. If she ships, I get to follow her. And that means I can have these guys do other stuff like this. And so now I've got two development actions, which means I'm going to get this space dock completed, which is awesome because then during shipping, I get a free shipping action as well. Ooh. Which means I don't even need this ship here anymore if I get this built. Wow, that's a lot of exciting options. Which means, actually, if I instead take this over here, so I'm triggering the beginning of development, I'll get this thing developed. Which means I get a free shipping action whenever the shipping happens. And so, if I have this developed, and I'll guarantee I have it developed because I've got these two guys, it will get developed. Then um, if Jen ships, I will actually get to ship this thing for free. That's perfect. And also, I have a chance to explore as well if the dummy player or Jen chooses to explore. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go with that. Now let's see what Jen came up with. All right. Jen got the wild card. This could be anything. She's got this, this, and a wild. Okay. Now, I was correct to assume that Jen wants to ship. She wants to get this thing shipped, definitely, um, because she can make more money off her piracy. And remember, as you saw, it's only a one in six chance that the dummy player will do it. Now, she could hope that I'm going to try and ship, but if she wants to guarantee it, you know, she could say, oh, heck, I'm not going to settle anything this turn, and she could come over here. And so she could ship. And then this wild card could stay over here as a settle. And if somebody tries to settle, she could settle. Because remember, oh, she's got, or she could do the space mercenary. She'd like to get these space mercenaries ready to go as fast as possible. So she could follow somebody on exploring. She could follow somebody on developing and get the space mercenaries finished. And she's guaranteeing that she's going to ship this thing and make an extra buck due to space piracy. I think she's pretty happy with that. All right, so everybody reveals. And I breathe a sigh of relief. I am so happy to see the Jen Cho shipping. I chose development. And let's see what the dummy player chooses. The dummy player chose settling. Which doesn't benefit either of us because neither of us were on settling. Oh well. Okay. So nobody's exploring. This die and this die go back in the cup. Development is happening. I have spent two on development. One, two. And so these guys, they worked hard. They got this developed and I've done it. I've just scored two more points. And now for the rest of the game, during the shipping, act, during the shipping phase, I get to do... It's as if I had a white die sitting here. Just like that. Thanks to this thing. Perfect. And I know shipping is going to happen. So that was my development. And look at this. Jen, she um, is very happy to see that I developed because now she can develop her Space Marines. And then these guys go home. And so she's got Space Marines now. That's worth a point. And now what this means is in the future, if she has any red or brown dice that she has rolled, she can basically, it doesn't matter what they roll, red and brown, uh, one, or I should say one red or brown die, every round is a wild card to her. And so she can turn it into anything. This gives her, since she is focusing on trying to get a lot of red dice, this is really awesome because her red dice can become wild cards and give her more flexibility when she's trying to make things happen. And so she can start to build very uh, red focused engine. All right, so Jen built that. Nobody is settling, even though we both could. Nobody is producing and now shipping. All right, and thanks to the space docks, I am going to engage in a shipping action. And now I've got a choice. This is, uh, I can either ship or, or what is it? I can either trade or consume. If I trade this, I get four bucks because browns are worth, rare elements are worth four bucks if you trade them, or I can get victory points. Now the interesting thing is because they match, I would get two victory points right now. But the money is much more important. So I am going to trade this and I just made one, two, three, four bucks. And so now I could hire a lot of dice and next round can be a very, very big round for me. It's kind of a bummer. I'd like to get those points because Jen's ahead of me in points. But right now I think it's more important that I get a lot of dice. Because if I get a lot of dice, and I get, um, you know, if, if things go my way, I can start working on the silicon world and get this built for four points and another brown die so I can do more production. I have two brown things I'm producing. But now, here's the other thing. Let's not forget. 
This is my other consideration. Um, one, two, three, four. All right, so I had this brown dye here. If I trade, I make four bucks. If I consume it, I make two points. One, because you always make one plus one because it's a matching point. But remember, my special power is when you consume, you make a dollar if you consume brown stuff. So I can get two points and a dollar, or I can get four dollars. Oh, and I thought for sure, you know what? I'm going to do the other thing. I'm going to use my special power. So I'm consuming a rare good that gets me $1. So I'm only going to get to, roll, get to hire two dice. But you know what? I've already got one dice, so I'm rolling three dice. And I get two points because you always get one for consumption and then a bonus one for matching color. So I just got two points as well. All right, and a buck using my mining industry power. Okay, and so that was it. And I've got nothing more to ship, although I, I don't have any more shipping actions anyway. And now Jen, she is getting to do a shipping action as well. She will ship this. Now, whites, oh, I'm sorry, not whites. This is from a brown planet. So that means even though it's a white dye, it's considered, it's, it's basically considered rare goods, which means they're worth four bucks. It's just that if, if this were a brown dye, you could consider them like high quality rare goods, which means they're worth more victory points um, than normal. Because if I wanted to, if Jen wants to consume this, it's only worth one victory point because it doesn't match the color. But it is still worth four bucks. So Jen is going to trade this sucker and get one, two, three, four bucks. So she's got five bucks to spend on dice. And so we're done with that. And now at the end of the turn, as always, we hire up. I'm going to spend two bucks and then I'll get one buck back. So I'm hiring two dice. Um, I'm definitely hiring this red because I want to get this silicon world built as fast as possible. And reds are the best settlers. Reds and greens. I don't have any greens, but um, right, browns don't have any settleability, so I guess I'll get a white because that's at least one settle because I want to get this planet settled as fast as possible. All right, so those are the two I bought. Jen, she's got five. One, two, three, four, five. And then she'll get a buck back at the end of the round. Five dice. Wow. Okay, now that she's got this red wild card thing, she's definitely going to buy a red. She'll buy a blue so she can maybe get um, that. Well, that's one, two, three, four, five. And she'll leave her other red. Um, so hopefully the red she has uh, will get, re get returned to this industry. So, she'll, so she's upping her chances of ensuring she'll be able to do more piracy if there's another shipping action. So anyway, so that's it. Jen's rolling now six dice this turn, whereas I'm rolling three. All right. Oh, and then, of course, everything resets. All righty, and what do I got? Uh, oh, well, actually, um, the red gave me what I wanted. Remember, I wanted to see a lot of circles because I want to start developing this planet as fast as possible. And I didn't quite get what I wanted, but let's see. So here, what can I do? I can, one of these is a wild card, so I, I have nothing to develop. So this is useless. So I'll put this over here, and that means both of these, this will be two of the four dice I need to develop this silicon world. And if I get lucky, I'll get to do some exploration as well, which if I do, I'll probably use to get some money. Okay, Jen's, okay, now she's got a circle, she's got two explorers, two develops, three explorers. Wow, okay. Now, what does she want to do with this? She's got a few more options. Now, she would like to get this rebel hideout built as fast as possible because it's worth two points, and it also gives her two more red dice. So, I think, and she has nothing to develop, just like I didn't, so she's going to pick this up over here. So now, she is um, settling. And these are the two that will take it to finish that thing. So that's nice. She's going to get her dice. This guy is definitely going to come home. But there's no shipping. So that means even though these are home, since no shipping happens, Jen won't make any extra money from her piracy. And right now, she's going to get to do... Th well, let's, let's just leave it like that. This develop isn't going to do any good. Although it is, it, the develop could become a dictator. And then... Um, what could she do? She could dictate and produce. Or, oh yeah, yeah, she could dictate and then produce. So now that's interesting because, again, she's thinking, if I, I, there's every reason to believe that I might produce because I, I could start producing and Jen knows it's worthwhile for me to produce. Although she can see I didn't take my brown dice. I didn't take them. So that means I'm probably less likely to want to produce here. So I think she's decided I'm not going to produce because otherwise I would have grabbed my brown dice because that would have been better production. So, Jen's going to assume I'm not going to produce, but even still, she might want to make this because maybe the dummy player will choose it. And then she could get a free production and get another matching die. So I think she'll go with that. She's still going to need to do two explorers if explorers come up instead of three. But okay, so that's it. We reveal, and it's revealed that, hey, I'm going to settle, 
And Jen's going to settle. Oh my gosh, we both chose settle. That was kind of silly. So once again, we wasted a chance. Jen could have, if she would have anticipated that I was trying to settle, she didn't have to do this. She could have piggybacked. She could have used the dictator to make this guy a settler, and then she could have put this over here and done a shipping action to do her piracy. But, so a big part of this game is anticipating where your opponents are going to go. But now, Jen is hoping and praying that it's a production. And I am hoping and praying it's an explore. All right, let's see what the dummy does. The dummy explores, as predicted, because that's his most likely thing to do. So, this is what we're doing. Jen wasted this. Um, it was a long shot. Oh, well. All right. So, first of all, we're going to explore. You know what? I'm just going to make two bucks. One, two. Because this is going to take me forever to... And, right. So I just need more money for more. All right. So, that's my exploration, and this guy retires. Jen gets to do two exploration. She could make four bucks right now, or she could draw two tiles, because she's not going to dump this one, because she likes this. She's about to finish building this. Does she, well, see, she'll definitely take two bucks. One, two. And I think, what the heck, she'll just take two more bucks. She's not going to explore right now. Okay, so that's it. So Jen made a bunch of money. I made not as much money. So we're done with the exploration. Nobody is developing, settling. I'm putting two of these. And now, so I have started settling the Silicon world, but I haven't finished. I have to get four dice on this thing. And so I have just taken two of my workers out of circulation. I need to get this finished now quickly so I can get the four points, get the extra power, etc, etc. So, I'm doing that. Jen, meanwhile, she's settling this really quick little rebel outpost. These guys say, oh, that was nice. That was fun. And so Jen just scored two more points and gained two military dice into your citizenry. One, two. So look at that. Jen now has four pirates that can generate two bucks whenever a shipping action happens, if these guys are back home. Okay. So, and right, and so then um, nobody produced, so this goes back in. This guy was a dictator, he goes home. So that's it. So now I'm gonna spend one, two, three, and then I'll get a buck back. I'm gonna hire three dice. And um, of the remaining dice to settle, I have no more military, I have no genes, so I'm just gonna make all three of them whites because that ups my chances the most of getting the circles I need to finish my settlement so I can get these guys back into circulation. So, oh, and see, not, so Jen has five bucks. She's going to hire five dice. Wow. Okay. Oh, I totally forgot. Jen, the red that Jen had, she could have used it as a wild card and reassigned it. Well, it, she's going to take that, and then she'll take four. All right, so these guys are just sitting around waiting to pillage and ravage and loot. Drink up me hearties, yo-ho. Okay, so let's roll again. Oh, and then, of course, she gets one buck. Three dice. That's two explore. Oh, my gosh. Dice. These dice hate me. That is terrible. And so Jen gets that, 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 that. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So there we go. I got no circles. I have nothing to develop, so I'll turn this in. So at the very least, I'll be getting one over here. And then I can just leave these, and hopefully I'll get a chance to follow somebody else on exploration. Or alternatively, I could turn this into a dictator, and then I could. the dictator says, hey, you are also going to settle. And there, that's it. I am definitely going to finish the Silicon World. I will do nothing else. I'm wasting a die to be a dictator, but I will get that done. Jen, meanwhile, and see, I totally forgot. This red die can be anything. Thanks to her space mercenaries, it's effectively a wild card because Jen can use the reassign ability to put it anywhere she wants. Now, she definitely wants to ship. But she'd like to produce as well. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Um... Right, she has nothing to develop or settle, so these two guys are wasting space. Although, if she explores, she could get some more dice and then maybe, ex um, you know... Oh, wow. So that's an interesting choice for her. So she has a lot of possibilities. This is effectively a wild card, thanks to her space mercenary. She gets to turn any one of these into a... Into a uh, any one of these is a wild card. And as well, one of them could basically take himself out to get a third wild card. So this game, you have a lot of opportunities. Jen's got three wild cards sitting here if she wants to jettison one of her dice. So she could make a very, very strong move. I mean, she's got... She might want to do two production. Like, uh, let's say... So if she puts this over here to do production, and then she turns this into a wild... Oh, but no, but she doesn't want to do that because she wants this to come back. So she, this is a wild card. She can say, hey, you know what? I want this to be a shipping action so that if she gets to follow on shipping, she'll be able to produce. And um, 
Right, and then she could turn this guy into a guy, and so he orders this guy. So now Jen is going to produce twice. Both of her planets are going to get some production, and if she gets lucky and somebody else ships, she'll get to follow along, and she'll also get to follow along on exploration. That looks like a pretty good plan. Let's see how it works out for her. And so everybody reveals, and I am settling. Jen is producing, and the dummy player says, I am also producing. So didn't work out. Oh well. So, but anyway, settling. Done. All these guys go home. I just scored four points. I get one dollar immediately and a rare brown good um, to put on this planet. And so, and, and you know, ultimately I'm going to want to ship this thing and it matches colors and I get, it'll, it'll be another opportunity to trigger my bonus. And now I don't get to do anything else for this round, but I got that sucker finally finished. And it was worth four points. That's a big deal. Jen, meanwhile, she, these explorers, nobody explored, so they go back in the cup. She didn't develop. She could have settled, but she didn't. She is going to produce, and this guy will um, matches. This one doesn't, so it's only worth one point. This is worth two points. But they're both. You know, this is you can sell for four bucks instead. And nobody shipped, so this go <gasps> this goes back in the cup. Oh well. And this guy goes home. And so that was another round. And so we flip back. Jen only has one, so she already has three, so she's who's she gonna hire? She'll hire another. Will she hire a red? She wants to ship stuff now. She's got two things to ship. Military can't ship at all, so she'll put another white in there. That's her one hire. I've got two hires, and I got nothing, so who am I gonna hire? You know what? I need to start exploring. Oops, this guy went home. So I can get some more stuff to build. But I wanna produce, I wanna get these brown so I can, um, you know, in one turn. Yeah, I think I want to produce. So I'm going to buy my two browns because they're the best at production and shipping. So we'll see how that goes. And so, and that's it. And we continue. And so at this point, I think you guys have seen just about everything the game has to offer. At this point, I've done one, two, three, four, five, six. I've done six of the 12. Jen has done six of the 12. And between us, we've only gotten four of the 24 victory points. So. We've still got a long ways to go, but the game really does speed up as you get more and more tiles and more and more special abilities that combo off each other. The, it just gets better and more exciting and faster um, right up until the very, very end. But that's Final Thoughts Talk. So if you'd like to hear some of those, you can hit the button that's on screen or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.